Hi Virgo, this is your reading for 2019. I'm Char from Charlie, uh, Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and Buddy Advice on, on Facebook. Um, I'm using the uh, Giro Mancelli, uh, Machetti uh, cards in Tarot and in Lenemann. I've put the six months uh, this way, uh, the first six months, and the other half of the year like this. You have an angel card and a color card, and the tarot ruin. Those are the tarot, uh, tarot stones of the big arcana. You get a tarot message with that, and a spiritual message. Like I said, this is Virgo. I'm doing this so I, I know uh, when I'm editing them, which ones I've done. You can find the link to my other places right in the middle on your right hand side and I'm using another camera so I can't point uh, directly but it is on this side here approximately and you can become a member right here free of charge and you can also hit the bell to be notified. If you don't want to be notified, then um, don't hit the bell. First of all, I wish you a fantastic uh, Christmas and a Happy New Year and a brilliant 2019. <laughs> For January, we have the Knight of Staves. This is the night that brings a message. Perhaps you're going on holiday, that's what it means as well, or you're moving home. This is a night full of passion, uh, creativity and logic, and he takes action, but he's thought it out. So perhaps you're planning to move home, or you are moving home in January, or you're going on holiday, and taking a rest from all the festivities. And then we have the book from the Lenormand, and this card means secrets or a study. Perhaps you have to do some more research before you go on holiday so that you know there won't be any delays or hiccups on your holiday or your move. Perhaps you are moving from one city to go and study in another one. In February you have the Eight of Pentacles what was I talking about? I hadn't even seen the card. I was talking about study in January. Perhaps you have just started a study, a new study, and doing hard work in February. As this is February, you have the Eight of Pentacles. You are also getting get recognition for all the hard work you've done. Perhaps it isn't a study, but you get a promotion for all and get recognition so through your recognition you get promotion um, in February because of all your hard work. Um, you've got the key. The key means that you might be bored and you might be at a stalemate. Don't worry, just turn the key because you've got the key in your own hands. So in February you are very strongly, you have your own, you're in your own strength. You can decide and it will work. In March you have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is like a father figure, an advisor. He's the head of the family. So here the Hierophant is the head of the church. You can see the church window and um, this can be mean uh, that you are um, seeking help from an institution or perhaps from a, um, a counsellor. Uh, or somebody that is wise and is the head of the family. If you're younger, perhaps you are asking your father for advice. This is a clarification. So that's why I said, you know, perhaps you are a younger person and you seek advice from an older person about a new beginning. Perhaps you wish uh, to have a child and uh, you seek advice from a doctor or an other advisory that can help you with the situation if you can't get pregnant. But like I said, 
um, learning is quite um, knowledge gaining knowledge is quite evident from uh, January onwards and we've got a study uh, card in uh, February so perhaps you are not quite settled yet as to what you would like to study because the Hierophant is the head of an institution so perhaps you might be seeking um, information at a career officer or you might go and um, want to do a particular study but you don't know where so you need to get the knowledge as we have the book here as well in front of the child. The child means a new beginning, spontaneity, uh, playfulness, um, learning uh, and perhaps a birth or a pregnancy. You might hear of a pregnancy and you might get um, somebody is not married and they're very young and you might give them counselling yourself if it isn't you yourself. In April we have the Queen of Cups. So this lady she is creative, passionate, she's a good carer but she knows what she wants. She is very definite in her will as she is a fire sign and fire can move very quickly and swiftly. So take care in your decisions uh, if you want to maintain the status of the Queen. The Queen is has got room to learn because she, the King is the top of the, the uh, court cards. So um, perhaps she wants to become uh, the King. Well, you know, the cards don't mean if it's a Queen, it can also be a male figure or a male person with a that is a fire sign and that could be Aries, Leo or Sagittarius but he could have um, the talents or the gifts of a woman like nurturing, caring, softness, uh, sensuality, uh, beauty so perhaps um, you might meet somebody in April if this isn't you and um, that is that has passion and creativity but I don't see uh, the love cards uh, lying here anywhere but I do see the institution card in March which is the high event so perhaps you might get married and might meet somebody as we have the messenger so somebody a fire sign might come and uh, visit you or you might visit a fire sign um, as this is Virgo and Virgo is an earth sign or you might get news about a fire sign. My darling Virgos, um, you are quite a steady uh, person as you're the earth sign. You've got both feet on the ground generally and you know how to um, work money, you know how to invest and you know how to um, keep it for a duration and perhaps the Queen uh, is because she's logic and pa um, passionate and she wants something perhaps you want something Virgo in April um, that um, requires action and um, passion as we have in May we have the wish card the nine of cups the nine of cups is the wish card and it means that your wish is coming true Perhaps you're seeking something in April and finally it's coming true or to fruition in May. But the Nine of Cups is also the partying cup. Mm. Perhaps you are partying or celebrating something as your wish or goal has come true. But don't forget, don't drink too much and don't make a habit out of it. We, the clarification card is a friend, loyalty and trust and luck. So you've got two lucky cards in May. So luck is with you in May and you might, like I said, make new friends or meet this fire sign Virgo and it will become a fantastic friendship because perhaps that is what you have been wishing for. In June uh, Virgo you have justice. What goes round comes round. If somebody has done you wrong, it will be put right. Make sure of that, because um, that is for sure, because we've got the sun here 
and we've got the justice. And justice also means balance. Like I said in May, don't drink too much and don't make a habit of it. Keep it in balance and uh, man maintain your health and uh, so you won't get sick. Um, in June we have the stalk and the stalk means moving home, a birth, um, 160 degree turn, uh, something is changing, a new beginning. You might hear of somebody being pregnant and they don't feel very well because they can't cope uh, with uh, that um, uh, work and home life. So because they are pregnant, so um, they are extra sensitive and they have to maintain the balance. So give them a helping hand if this is not you. In July, July we have the Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, perhaps somebody has done you wrong and you've lost money. So that will be put right because the Justice card and your money will be returned. And the Ace of uh, Pentacles also means work. You might get a new job. Uh, you might start a new project, you might start your own business, but it's a new beginning and it will, um, it will bring money in for long term and steady, as the earth signs are slow and steady and are in for the duration. This will help your health, uh, less stress, um, as we have the tree here and the tree stands for health. So if you maintain uh, your balance in June um, and you accept this new beginning or offer uh, go outside because you've got two earth cards as the tree grows outside and that's the earth and you see more branches here so branch out and delegate it will uh, lighten the workload perhaps you might get an offer to become a manager or a director um, and you have to delegate to secretaries and the people under you or around you. It's a nice time to go outside in July, so take time out and go outside and um, you'll be fine. And in the Lenormand, if there's other trees around, like you see here, branches, your wish is coming true. So if your wish hasn't come true in May, it could take some time like I said, it's an earth sign, so it will be slow. And talking about balance, we have temperance in August. And that card is totally and utterly about balance. To clarify this, this um, the, the, the temperance card, we have the clouds. The clouds are like you might have been in a difficult period and you're going uh, into the light. You're going forth in a better period because you are keeping yourself in the balance and you're not quarreling and because the clouds means quarrels and um, a difference of opinion. So, you know, to maintain your health, that's quite um, coming forth is the health and balance certain habits um, please don't quarrel and listen to people's advice with regards to your health that's quite important in 2019 for you learn to share with family and friends in may and delegate your frustrations uh, or delegate talk delegate and share if like if you're moving house in June uh, because you've got two cards on moving somewhere try to delegate and share uh, the workload and that's what it also says in July in September your month um, we have the eight of swords like I said if you if your workload is too heavy you can't handle it you can't see your way out like this person with the blindfold uh, so, um, surrounded by swords just take the blindfold off because her hands aren't tied 
you cannot see a lock on the chain. She can just throw her hands down and the chains will fall off and then pull off that blind and she can walk through the opening of the swords. Don't worry because all your hard work will pay off because in January we, you, you could have gone on holiday and um, you've been working re really hard all year and you might be going on holiday um, in September as well. As you have the airship and that means your boat is coming in and you are above the mountains so there are no problems. You have nothing you can knock against or the boat won't knock against the mountains because it's above the mountain. It's in the air. So you're as free as a bird and your boat will be coming in. So that might be a holiday. In October we have your sign because we have the Empress and the Empress is like Mother Earth and um, she's nurturing new beginnings, um, its growth and this year is number three and that also means creativity, positivity, happiness um, and growth because two of staves for example means planning and the three of staves is boats coming in so this year that it is very fruitful because of the number of the year and because of the card you have here, the Empress. She's also a number three. Look. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> and you might be networking and like I said, delegate. So you might be networking and lighten your load altogether in your work area. And perhaps in your private life as well. Perhaps you are taking more time out and relax in the garden or in a park or whatever and you've asked a babysitter to come in and take care of the children. So you've learned in October to take it easy and to see things more positively than in September. And you might even get a reunion because the garden means going out into nature meeting people, networking and reunions. In November we have the Wheel of Fortune. What goes up must come down. What goes round comes round. So November, if you've done anything wrong, it will come back to you. If you've done well and have been nice, it will come back threefold to you. Just remember that. This is also a card of travel, an end of a phase, and you're ready to go for a new phase. So in October you've got a beginning with the Empress, and in November you can have a new beginning. And it might be in love, as we have the heart to clarify it. You might meet somebody in November, a new love or a new friend, because the heart is also passion, and you have to have passion to to make a good friend. In December we have the Eight of Cups. Like I said, you're ready for a new beginning from October and through November. And perhaps now in December you're taking off because you're bored with everything that you've left behind. Here you can see Eight Cups they were filled and they were all adventurous and you've done the hard work and you want something more inspiring. So you're looking out to the future in this card um, to see where you want to go and what you want to do. You might take a boat, you might go sailing and hook up somewhere but the, the anchor means safe haven. At this moment you feel safe where you are and that might, might have made you bored and that's why you're looking for inspiration to do something new. And there is travel, but the travel can also be the travel within yourself, to know yourself much better and you're quite certain of yourself, um, how you feel and you know yourself and that could be your safety. Because the anchor, um, I take the anchor also as hope faith and love. 
you have faith in yourself, you love yourself, and you have hope for the future and for something more inspiring. So all in all, um, there's a lot of new visions, perspectives and starts for you in the autumn. And you've done the hard work throughout the year and you have had luck. And there is a wish that's come true, hopefully, for you and you're lucky, two cards in one month and a new beginning in June. So um, let's go over to the stones. The first uh, stone that I have is number eight, Justice. I thought you had Justice somewhere else. You've got the Hierophant, so in uh, March, so that can mean, yeah, and you've got Justice in June. How amazing that you get the, the number Justice. But here it is a number 11 and here it is a number 8. So I might be wrong. No, it is number 8 uh, in the stone. Um, but it is justice because you've got the scales here just like these two here. I don't know whether you can see it. I think so. But that's in June. So you might get a justice about something or the balance in June. That's what it means. Ju justice is flexibility, analytical. That's what you are, uh, Virgo. You can be analytical because you are brilliant at keeping books and, going, uh, and working your money. Reflective and justice. This is the stone of justice. A demand for fairness is a certain to chain you to a victim's life. Let go of your ideas regarding fairness and keep, stop keeping score of how fair you are to others. There are no unwilling victims. How else would, there, would a being loving creator have things? Well, you are a creator um, because you grow and you are the uh, Mother Earth card because that's the Empress. So you can be creative and you make things grow and make a beautiful garden out of it. So go for it, um, Virgo. It's lovely. It's a nice message. So keep the balance and keep the justice. Be true to yourself and be true to others. That's one lesson. Then we've got judgment. And well, it's, you know, it's judgment. Uh, judgment in the tarot cards, uh, that means um, reborn, a fresh start. So this is uh, shown with the yin and yang sign, and it's a 20. So that is indeed the, the card of balance. Two is balance. And the judgment means a new beginning. And like I said, what goes round comes round, especially in November with the wheel. And I think, yeah, the wheel of fortune. You know, yeah. Uh, I thought there was another card, but it's okay. No, that's it. Um, in the spiritual meaning, it means karma, redirection, futurist and seer. The sum total of your life's experiences have drawn you current to the current situation you are in now. You may, you may feel blocked or oppressed. That's what that card means as well. She doesn't know which, which way to go because she's got the blindfold. And that is in um, September. This stone reminds you that through life's difficulties, you are afforded your greatest opportunities for growth. And that's in October. She's, that's the Empress in the garden. You're not leaving the classroom before completing the course, are you? So that is what I'm trying to say. 
you have to try to find the balance that's a, that's the message here and uh, between in your life in general but you have to make, uh, also find the balance um, in love uh, at work uh, and at home because you've got a lot of new beginnings you're learning a lot this year because uh, what you've been planning will come to fruition that's definitely uh, also the message because you've got a lot of new beginnings with judgment um, with the wheel of fortune with the empress with the ace of uh, pentacles in july um, and definitely in may with the two luck cards and the wish card and in june you have the stalk and the child so you've got a lot going on in 2019 virgo um, so take it easy and you have to maintain the balance in order to stay stress-free so go out into nature and um, uh, you've got the green card and you've got a, a tree leaf here and how apt is that I haven't even seen that uh, blow uh, go outside and blow and let the wind blow through your hair and it will give your nervous system a new lease of life and like I said you might be meeting somebody new in 2019 because you've got the card romance from the angel deck so keep and that's why I also said keep the balance between work and home life because there is an, um, there are possibilities that you might be getting a child as soon as from March June and uh, October so go for it and I hope all your wishes come true and have a brilliant 2019 Virgo and I hope to see you in January give me the thumbs up and please share and like and take care Merry Christmas ciao Thank you.